Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. One of the most important things that we should understand, particularly when we're working in a company who requires predictions for perhaps sales uh, for a future period based on what has happened in the past, or it might be debtors and creditors uh, from in a balance sheet and the like. So what we have here uh, a group of months from the 1st of January 2017 to the end of the year and we have numbered the months 1 to 12 and then we've said that the uh, the millions involved for the dollars are those so these might be from a balance sheet uh, whatever it may be from, from sales uh, that have been historically made over the year and what we need to do is to see what the projections are uh, or the predictions are for the uh, ensuing months. And this is how we do it. First of all, we need to understand that the, the value of a straight line, we can think of it as a trend line through a chart, is based on an algebraic formula, y equals mx plus c. Now, at this stage, don't panic too much if you uh, are not uh, strong in algebra. You'll see how it works. So remember that the value of the straight line through the middle of the line chart is represented by Y, which is made up of MX plus C. Now, here we have the X values, 1 to 12, and here we have the Y values from C1 to C, uh, C5 to C16. So we know the X's and the Y's in the formula. How do we work out what the M and the C is so that we can use it to uh, make a prediction? Well, it's really quite simple. All we need to do is to understand the use of the slope function and the intercept function. Now, the slope function will find M, and the formula we see up here is equal to slope and then the uh, y's, C5 to C16, and then the x's are B5 to B16. Now, what we can do is to predict what the 13th month will be by using the formula to represent y. And we say equal, now we, we know that the, um, uh, the y's are... Uh, my apologies, we, know, we, we have looked for the M's and we know that the, the M's are here in this cell and what we want to do is to multiply that by the number here in B17 to which we add what is in this cell, which is the C. Now, what I'm going to do is to make those cell references for the X's and the Y's absolute so that we can use them in copied formulas. So we use the dollar signs and what I'll do I'll double click there and I'll use the F4 key to put the dollar signs in to lock the uh, to lock Excel's look at that cell and the same with E11. Now what we'll do we'll do the same thing F4 puts the dollar signs in for me and now if I uh, press enter I would believe that the uh, next value is 8.62 million. Now that's fine for one cell but what I'm now going to do is to increase let's say by that number of months and then we'll fill the series and again what I'm going to do here is to auto fill down and we should see the, the, um, the projected values. So there I can see that those are the projected values uh, based on the, um, or dependent upon what the trend was previously. So there we go, no problem there. Now we'll go to the next sheet, the prediction sheet, where I have predicted out to month number 16 haven't worried about 17 but what I've done I've shown by right clicking on the 
uh, line itself, and uh, I've, I've added the the values to the uh, to the chart itself. And if I look at the values, I can see, of course, that the uh, values match what the predicted values are here. So these numbers here on the chart equate what I see here in the y values uh, in the in the numbers themselves. So this proves that the uh, formula here y equals mx plus c is correct. Now how did I see that formula? Well what I did I right clicked on the trend line, format the trend line and then I said display the equation on the chart. So that's how we do it and you can see that uh, understanding that y equals mx plus c bearing in mind that these are the x's these are the y's and all we did was to work out what the what the m and the c was so this has opened up a whole new area for you uh, you might say well i can show that on a trend line in the chart well that's all well and good but what if you needed to uh, change the numbers here uh, uh, by um, uh, changing the the contents of the cells. Certainly the chart will change but uh, uh, if you wanted to print out hard copy of the numbers then you need to have them showing in the various cells. So remember practice makes perfect. This uh, particular uh, file is downloadable for free uh, from the description uh, 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 below the video. Practice and you'll find that uh, it, it makes sense. One of the keys to remember is to make the uh, cells in the formula absolute by putting the dollar signs in the X's and the Y's. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.